Once you have your components on the layers that they need to be and you've got the flexibility that you need, that's when you go back in and you start doing your refining. Now you'll notice the bridge of the nose here. That looks kind of funny, so that obviously doesn't need to be there. That's why it's good to start labeling your layers so you know which layer to go to. So I'm going to come down here to the mask on the kid layer, which I could rename that eyes if I wanted to. Uh, and I'm going to take an opacity of my brush down a little bit. I'm going to use black. And uh, I'm going to make that brush just a wince, wince smaller. And I'm going to start painting out those parts, which are making it look kind of funny. And this is where a light hand and some patience will actually do you a world of good. So I can see that my eyes are starting to show through from the dog. So let me click on the pixel part of the layer. Type in V from my move tool. And let's see here. You know, I think I'm actually going to cut one of those eyes. I'm going to cut this eye out and put it onto its own layer as well because I'm having some issues with having it be the way I want. So just control J. Radically different without that uh, mask. And come back here with my brush and start rebuilding that mask. And this is up to you how much you want to do it because it, it looks fairly good. But uh, you know me, if you're in my classes, fairly good is not usually good enough for me. So uh, then I'm going to come down to the kid mask and I'm just going to mask out the dog eye all together so I can see what I'm doing when I'm on the layer for the kid for the new eye. I'm going to call this one oh left and right's always been very challenging for me but I think that's the right eye. Okay now I need to come back in here with some white and the keyboard shortcut to switch between your foreground and background is X and just dab to get the eye back there, now we have the eye back. Now I'm going to do Control T, transform. Rotate it just a little bit, move it just a little. So once again, the anatomy of a dog and the anatomy of a person are different. And then I'm going to take my opacity down again. And I'm going to uh, come over here and I'm going to type in B, uh, B for brush. Got it. Now I'm going to make that brush just a little bit smaller and X because I want to use black. And now I'm going to start, yeah, there we go. Some of that fine brushing out. Oh, much better. Now I can't see the dog's eye. Control T. Transform. And for this kind of stuff, it's actually okay to uh, not necessarily transform to stay in proportion, but that's okay. All right. Actually, I went a little bit too far on that one. That works. Okay. Um, now the mouth. Let's see here. What have we got for the mouth? Yeah, you could get in here. And if you can't see what you're doing, use your zoom tool and draw a space. You have to deal with pixelation, but sometimes it's easier to see what's actually going on when you do that. And I can see that some layer probably either the nose layer nope, or the original kid layer. Somewhere I am actually picking up some pixels that I don't want. Oh no, 
It's just part of the dog. That's the part I was trying to get rid of. I can't get rid of that. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back here. And I could come in here if I wanted, and I could turn the kid's lips black. Just make a selection. Make sure I'm on the pixels. Image adjustments. Oh gosh. Could do hue and saturation. Take the saturation down. Take the lightness down a little bit. And there, control D to deselect. Now I have a harsh line, so eh. You know, that would take more work than it would be worth. Control Z, Control Alt Z, Control D. That undoes it back to where I was. Um, control zero will make it so I can see the whole picture. And frankly, I think I like this picture actually without the nose or the mouth. I think that makes for the best picture. Now if I want, I could come up here and I could put the dog above. And if I wanted to, I could add a mask to the dog. And I could come in here and I could paint the kids eyes that way. Okay, um, That's kind of strange. I could also come here and uh, I could reverse this if I wanted. I could do um, control I will change that. Control I will change that. And there you're starting to see if you wanted to put the dog's eye on the kid, that's kind of creepy. And let me come back in here to this mask just for fun so we could see. Now that's a seriously messed up kid. Anyway, I think that begins to show you what the flexibility is. Control I. Oh man. Freaks of nature. Control I, Control I, Control I. And we're pretty much right back to where we were. So, um, if you want to see other examples of combining things like this, you can go to www.worth, W-O-R-T-H, 1000, 1000. So it's W-O-R-T-H, 1000.com. Or you could also go to humandescent.com, H-U-M-A-N-D-E-S-C-E-N-T.com. And that has lots of examples of things that you can do like this. So that will get you started. Um, and uh, have fun playing with compositing images.